Well, hey there, guys. I just got this um, Kitchen Aid food meat grinder, and I actually bought two of them because, you know, with Christmas in mind, and I think this would make a great gift for all those people that enjoy cooking and just making their own meatballs and meatloafs and things like that, um, and then just grinding up um, if you do, like, wild game, like a deer burger, venison, things like that. So I'm very excited to get this all out and get looking at it. Okay, so on the KitchenAid, you unscrew this little screw, and I'll show you all of the pieces that come with this grinder. So here's like the main part. You put that in there, screw it in. Then you got the little food hopper that goes up top, and you can see which side it goes because it has like a little button. It goes on this side, so it clicks in nice and secure. And you can either choose to do burger or like these like sausage casings, which I'm going to just do burger, but here is the grinder part that goes in there. It's very easy to put together, very, very easy. I'll show you the sausage part. So this is the little sausage thing goes there, and then you have two sizes of sausage sizing to do whichever size your casings are going to be, and you just put that on there, and you screw this cap on. Okay, and there it is. So then you would put your sausage casing just on the end here and feed your meat in and out would come your little sausage. But for today, I'm just going to do the burger. So these are all the sausage parts. It does come with an extra blade for the burger. And so I was excited about that. And then it comes with two sizes for if you want your burger to be more fine or more coarse. So I thought that was a nice option too. I'm going to do more fine and when putting the blade on you do have to make sure that the blade goes on correctly so that it does cut through your meat. So you put that on there and then put the cap on and you are good to go. When cleaning it um, here's like a little brush to get in. Obviously you take it completely apart and put it in nice soapy water and then um, it's kind of like a bottle brush, so we'll get in all the little small crevices. And then here is the thing to push the meat through. So I'm going to get some meat. Okay, so I got my chicken breast here, and they said to just cut it into little kind of like strips or just small pieces because it's not going to be able to process like a whole chicken breast at a time. But um, when we do up like deer burger and things, it's very smooth. We just cut it into smaller pieces. So I'm very excited to put this to use. Let's try it out. throw the meat in and out pops all the burger so this will be great for you know just some sloppy joes or chicken tacos or whatnot um, obviously you can do beef or venison or just really anything you can also do um, some fruits and vegetables like zucchini or apples you can make some good applesauce so I love that it's um, homemade that you can make all these foods so you can cut as much fat out as you want or you just know where it came from you know it has all that less um, preservatives and things in it so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit about how the process of grinding up your own meat works. <laughs>